Hello everyone, Shroom Rover here. And today it is Thursday and you know what that means, it is time for themed Thursdays. Yes indeed. Now, today uh, we are going into PU, one of my old favourite tiers as you probably well know by now, with a team that I actually came up with a long time ago. Um, back towards the beginning of this series I actually came up with this team. And it wasn't very good and I changed it up a little bit and I've actually changed it up shortly before starting this recording something just came to mind that I figured I wanted to use but as you can see just over here the theme we are working with today is James Bond so I've got six mons named after James Bond films and disclaimer this is not a good team <laughs> I'm not gonna lie this isn't a wonderful team um, it has its gimmicks uh, possibly a few too many of them um, but we're gonna try it out anyway because that's what this series is all about you know that it's all about having fun with a the theme so Let's get into the team builder, see who we're working with real quick like. So, Carbink, first up, actually the newest member of the team, Diamonds Are Forever. <laughs> um, I just put this on today. Uh, this was originally a Hypno called Goldfinger. But um, Hypno's really bad, and Carbink <coughs> kind of does things a little bit better than Hypno. Carbink is our first Trick Room setter. But yes, we are running a Trick Room team. Uh, Trick Room, Light Screen, Reflect, and Moon Blast on, uh, on Carbink. Mixed defences with the light clay, you know, um, it does what it does. That's basically all we need to say about Carbink, it just does these things. I should say, by the way, this team only has one physical attacker. And when you see who that is, you're going to realise this is a bit of a problem. <laughs> anyway, next up we have Moonraker. Moonraker, of course, is Lunatone. And we've got a kind of bulky offensive trick room setter here. Uh, as you may know, when I run a Trick Room team, I like to have at least two setters, one of whom should have some offensive presence. Obviously, Carbink doesn't have any, but Lunatone has a nice base special attack of 95, which is in no way bad. If we've got Trick Room, Earth Power Psychic for that nice dual stab, and Baton Pass, which could be useful. Set up the Trick Room, they bring in something to take it on. I can Baton Pass out of there, go into something to threaten it. Third up, and I'm really quite proud of this nickname, uh, we've got Live and Let Die, the Bastiodon. Because it's got sturdy and metal burst. I quite like that. So it's, the idea is for it to live and then let something else die. We also got rocks, toxic, and magic coat. Magic coat on there. Um, you know, pretty useful against nasty spiking things. Uh, we're going once again, sort of mixed, but more into the physical defence this time. Next up, octopusy. Of course, the octillery. Um, I've used life orb octillery in Trick Room before and it just takes lives. It is so powerful. It's got such good coverage. Hydro Pump, Fire Blast, Energy Ball and Ice Beam. And with that Sniper, it's, it can get those crits powered up. You know, Octillery does work. Uh, essentially, if I can get a Trick Room up and then switch straight to Octillery, there, Octillery, I've got three turns where I can just pound something with powerful attacks and hopefully just punch holes in walls. Next up we have Thunderball. Thunderball, what an appropriate name for an electrode. We've got our second life orb user here. Uh, with the soundproof, I think that's the... is that the best ability? Yeah, we're just going to roll with it. Uh, Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, Hidden Power Ice and Foul Play on there. Um, should be putting in a decent amount of work. And finally we have From Russia With Love. Uh, a sort of throwback to um, done using... Uh, Crawdaunt called Russia. Um, so we've got little corefish from Russia with love. We've got the Sash uh, Dragon Dance set with Crab Hammer, Aqua Jet, and Knock Off. So that is the team. Let's get into one or two battles and see how they do. Okay, we have Giga Zyber, to whom we shall say have fun. Hmm. <laughs> He's got a Blossom, so that's cool. Um, Licky Licky is, is powerful. As He's got a very powerful team, actually. This is not going to be easy. <laughs> so who's the lead? Who is the lead? Is it going to be the Licky Licky? Who can say in this day and age? Um, what we're going to do, he's got no ground types, we're just going to go with Electrode. Should outspeed a good chunk of his team. Um, anything that isn't Scarfed is getting outsped pretty much. Um, I wonder what his lead is going to be, really. Uh, I guess we'll have to find out. Doesn't appear to have any hazards, does he? It is the Blossom. 
It is the Blossom. These things are especially quite bulky. So, no point going for the HP Ice. I'm just going to Volt Switch out. Because Electrode is nice and powerful. Um, with the Life Orb. I want to keep it around. Pretty much. And, you know, I outspeed this thing. Even if it is Scarfed, I outspeed it. So, no reason really not to go for the Volt Switch. I get a decent chunk of damage off, and who are we going to go into? That is the question. Hmm. Let's try Bastiodon. I actually don't have many switch-ins for grass. My team is... Now I look at it, my team is horribly weak to grass. <laughs> Like, really badly weak to it. Um, <clears throat> so that's something of an oversight. I guess Hypno, before Carbink, gave at least neutrality against Grunts. But um, four of my team are weak to it. I believe one is two and neutral, so... <laughs> he goes for the sunny day. Oh, metal burst your ass. and hope that he goes for an attack. It'd be nice to get rid of this Blossom. Is he gonna go for an attack? He might do. If not, he'll be scared of going for an attack afterwards, you know? The worst thing here would be for him to go for Sleep Powder. But he looks to be an offensive build. And he goes into the Rapidash, I mean. Go for an attack if you want, but you are going to be destroyed if you do. I'm going to go for the Metal Burst again. No sense in not going for the Metal Burst, you know? I can live the hit. Hmm. And Rapid Ash is a threat. It's a threat I'm not going to mess with, and <laughs> that's a dead Rapid Ash. Nice and dead. Okay, good stuff. Live and let die. That is how we roll with Bastiodon. <laughs> good shit. So, what does he do now? Blossom might actually be his best move. Right about now. But he sees me with Metal Burst, so he might want to do nasties. He might want to do nasties. It's the Blossom. Hmm. Can he kill me? I don't know that he can, you know. Do I want to get up my rocks? Ooh, it's tough. It's so tough. I'm going to go for Metal Burst again. I'm just going to try. Timer is on, that is fine. Um, I'm just going to try and go for Metal Burst. Um, he, he might be able to just take me out with what I'm going to assume is Solar Beam. There it is. He doesn't take us out! Get destroyed, Blossom. Get annihilated. Get wrecked, basically. I mean, he can take me out now. Um, I'm going to go for the rocks. And he... I wonder... We'll see now if he's, um... If he's that one item. The the stone, the the, the, the sunny rock. <laughs> What's it fucking called? Um, heat rock. That's the one. Synthesis? Ah, bugger. Well, we get rocks up, so that's nice. Um, he is the heat rock. And... That is a problem. Hmm. Now then. We're going to have to play around here. What we might have to do is sack Carbink early. Um, kind of wish I had Explosion on it now. Just so I can get the Trick Room up. <laughs> um, grass is such an enormous problem for my team. I really... You know, he's going to be able to take me out with the Solar Beam. Oof. That's unfortunate. Um, I have Sturdy on the Carbink. 
I have Sturdy on the Carbink. So I can get my Trick Room up. And that will be just lovely. Probably, in hindsight, should I have dropped a Toxic on the Blossom? Maybe, maybe not. He's probably got Heal Bell on the Licky Licky. So, Rocks are probably my best thing. He doesn't have any way of getting rid of them. Uh, we're going to go for Trick Room. Uh, we've got massive special defense. We should, I mean, I don't think a, a solar beam will actually take us down to sturdy. I'm, I'm rather <clears throat> hoping I'm not overestimating Carbink's bulk or underestimating Blossom. Yeah, there we go. Easy, easy. Um, and I'm actually just going to go for Moonblast. Moonblast and hope he just goes straight for the solar beam. That would be ideal. If he doesn't, then I'm just going to get up my screens. I hope he doesn't try and stall out my trick room. That would be annoying of him. Good, he's not going to try and stall out the, the, um, the trick room. And now, now we go into Octillery. And Octillery is about to take some lives. Well, actually, probably not if he goes into the Grumpy. <laughs> um, but we are going to try this. We are going to try this. Octillery, as we know, is power. So here it is. Risk it, go for the Fire Blast. Go for that big old fire blast. He might bring in the Grumpig here. Because this Blossom is fairly important to him. But Octillery can take hits. I'm I'm confident in Octillery's ability to take hits. Take a sip of my delicious tea. Mm. It's the Licky Licky. Oh, power! Licky Licky get wrecked. Octillery ain't taking no ain't taking no names, and of course that sniper crit is just utter power on Octillery. I feel like there was a voice crack earlier on. I'm trying to make up for it just by talking and stuff, but I'm excited that that happened. Licky licky down and out. Octillery going in. So what does he do now? It has to be the grumping, doesn't it? Yeah, thought as much. Let's go for that big old hydro pump. Let's see how much this does to a presumably specially defensive Grumpig. This is where having a nice physical attacker that isn't Corfish would be helpful. Uh, but, you know, them's the breaks. Uh, so, how much is this Hydro Pump going to do? Come on, big damage. Big damage. Can, can I see 50%? 59. Not bad Grumpig. Grumpig? I mean, not bad Octillery. Um... The Blossom is, is a thing that could come in here. And part of me thinks it's going to. Do I gamble? Fire Blast. Gamble. Blossom's coming in to take the Hydra. Gamble. Come on, bring it, show me the... Ah, gamble and lose. Thick fat. Over predictions are a thing. Here's the calm mind. Um, I should have just gone for Hydro. We're going to do it now. Um, and just hope that, that he doesn't have rest. That would be unfortunate. I over predicted there. I choked that one. Should have just gone for the Hydro first turn really is what I should have done. Still, Octillery doing a nice bit of work against Licky Licky. So there's that, you know. Um, and I still have one Trick Rumor left in reserve, and I can set that up on either the Grumpig or the Stoutland. As he takes out my Octopus, that's fine. Um, gonna go into Corfish. Just gonna do it. Just gonna go into Corfish. Um, and set up a Dragon Dance. 
set up a dragon dance, um, and try and do some work with Corfish, you know? Uh, we've still got Lunatone in the back who can do some work, and Electrode is still there and all. Um, but here's from Russia with Love. We're going to go for the dragon dance. Of course, I am sashed. Unfortunately, I'm not dark type, but Corfish is fairly powerful. Yeah, we're sitting at 259 attack, and that's the neutral nature, I think. So, we should be okay here. We should be okay. He goes for the Psy Shock. We can get a Dragon Dance up. And hopefully, outspeed. Here's the knockoff. Let's do it. Let's be bold. Let's be brazen. <laughs> Come on, Corfish. Get yourself a kill. You deserve it for reasons. <laughs> Come on, Corfish. You've got this, buddy. You have got this. I like to think. We outspeed after a Dragon Dance. Whatever happens, so. So we should be fine to take out this Grumpig. Um, if the Haunter's scarfed, of course, it will just destroy our faces anyway. So, yeah. Mmm! Lovely! Lovely and dead Grumpig. That's good. That's very nice. Electrode is looking... is happy about that. Um, as is Lunatone. Both of them are happy about that. Part of me really wants him to go into the Stoutland right now. Stoutland would be nice uh, for him to go into, as far as I'm concerned. Um, because then he could possibly take me out and I could go into Lunatone and life would be glorious. Unless he locks himself in on Crunch. It is going to be the Haunter. Now, 317. If he is Scarfed... Let's see, times 1.5, 300. If he's scarfed, he just outspeeds us. Do I gamble? Gamble, he's not scarfed. Gamble, come on. Don't be scarfed, Haunter. Ooh, it's tense. Come on, Crawfish. Ah, gamble and lose. Gamble and lose. He's scarfed. Alas. Alas and curses. He's scarfed. Bums, I should have gone for Aqua Jet. Shouldn't have taken the risk, but you know. You don't get anywhere in life without a little risk, so. Let's see. What can Electrode do here? I will... He outspeeds me still. I'm going to lock myself in on T-Bolt. I should have just gone for Aqua Jet. That was a misplay. Made a few big misplays in this match. Not just taking out the Grumpig. I choked on that. And I should have just Aqua Jet for damage on the Haunter. You never know. Plus one, it might have even taken it. Probably wouldn't have taken it out. Let's be real. It is a Corfish after all. But if this thing is Scarfed, I wager I can take this hit. I like to think I can anyway. Um, I can. Nice. Dead Haunter. Good stuff. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Lunatone is happy about that. And the Blossom. Oh, I need him to go into the Blossom. I don't think I win this match, unfortunately. Um, and we're at 20 minutes of recording time, I think. I think it might be that this is the only game we get, but I'll be happy with that, you know. It is the Blossom. That's good. HP Ice. Okay. Game on. Game on. Come on. Show me the KO on Blossom. Life Orb Electrode? I don't know. Blossom is specially bulky. Oh no, don't synthesis. <sighs> oh, that's annoying. I need the crit. I need the crit or a ridiculous damage roll. <laughs> Blossom is so specially bulky, it's untrue. Um, 
But yeah, I think this is probably game, unless Electrode comes through here. I don't think Lunatone takes a hit from the loss. Actually, do you know, it has to set up the sun before it can solar beam me. We've seen Synthesis, Sunny Day, Solar Beam, and presumably a... Presumably a coverage move. I'll go down to that. That's fine. He can synthesis. He ah, he goes for the sunny day. That's a good play. That's a good play. Now he's got that solar beam. That's a very good play. Ugh. Clearly he didn't have another stab move, knowing that he needed. Yeah, it is GG. You don't know. I might be. Ch I might be. Um. Say <laughs> I might be a uh, sashed, but I'm not. I'm gonna try and trick room. It's probably GG, but we're going to wait and see. Max HP, 207 speed F. Not saying GG until the end of the game, but it, in, in reality, it is. He doesn't know that I'm not uh, sashed. <laughs> Come on, make your move. Yep, GG. Well, ooh, hit my mic. <laughs> well, them's the breaks, uh, unfortunately. These things do happen. Uh, that's going to be it from this battle, and indeed, actually, this episode of Theme Thursdays. Probably a bit of a shorter episode than usual, but I don't want to be taking the risk with me old, uh, me old computer on the rocks as it is. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed. Let's take a look at, um, at the team real quick, like, uh, and see who did work. I mean... Bastiodon put in a shift, Octillery is power, and never let it be forgotten. Uh, a nice little cameo from Corfish, probably should have gone for the Aqua Jet, but that's my fault, not Corfish's. Um, <laughs> but I think, you know, uh, Octillery, with the big damage on the Licky Licky, that was fairly crucial at that stage of the game. So, uh, as I say, that's going to be it from this video. Um, remember, as far as Theme Thursdays goes, uh, if there's any themes you want me to use, Put them down in the comment section below, or hit me up on Twitter, you can do that as well. Uh, let me know what kind of themes you want to see me use, because remember, you suggest the theme, I will bring the team. That is how it works, ladies and gentlemen. So, thank you once again for watching, and I guess, with that, I'll see you next time. Laters!